Hi everybody. So today I thought I'd do just um, a video about um, how learning really how to put a bridle together or how I learnt how to put a bridle together. Um, it's really rainy and really windy and horrible outside so unfortunately I'm riding today um, and I decided that uh, this was easier and nicer to clean my tack inside and I thought that I would do this little video at the same time. So, so I've got Basil's bridle here on a sheet on the floor and this really is how I taught myself to put bridles together um, when I first learnt when I first learned to do them, basically I laid it out on the floor, which is what I'm going to do, and took it apart bit by bit, and laid it out how I'd taken it apart, and then learned to put it back together. And I did that several times until I actually did learn how to put it back together. So I just thought I would show you that today, um, in case you're just learning um, about bridles and putting them back together so let's get on with it so it's actually much easier if you start off um, without a martingale so I've sort of put it still to the side it's still attached because obviously you might need to, to learn to do that um, so I'm going to um, look at that first basically the rings go through the reins so as long as you remember that when you take it off um, with a running martingale it shouldn't be a problem to put it back together again so I'm going to take that apart first so basically I just undid the buckle at the end um, uh, which where the two reins are joined together and detached the rings from that so the martingale now is then just sitting here on the side and I'm just left with my bridle so what I'm going to do now is take this apart and lay it all out so I'm going to start taking the reins off from the bit first. This is a slightly different um, type of bit to um, your normal bit because the cheek piece is attached in a different place. But the whole um, thing works really mostly in the same way. So as I say, the first thing I'm going to do is take the reins off. And I leave the bridle facing upwards as though I'm looking towards the horse. Okay, so I've ta taken the reins off but I've left them right next to and the same way up as they would be when they were are attached back to the bit. So I'm going to do to now take the nose band off and lay that in exactly the same way. Just taking a note though um, that the nose band always goes underneath the headpiece. So that's the nose band now detached from inside the um, brow band and the buckle is undone. I made a note, this is easy because Basil is the only horse that uses this bridle, it's easy to see where the buckle goes because there's this line. If you've got a horse or pony where um, at a riding school or a live or something like that then you're probably going to need to either remember it if you have a good memory or write it down. Um, so this one needs to go the third hole from the top is how I would remember that one. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the cheek pieces off the bit and detach them from the buckle on the headpiece. I'm going to leave them in place exactly as I did the reins. And I'm so I've detached the cheek pieces from the bit. I've moved the nose band, it's just sitting down here slightly now so that I can still see that the cheek piece attaches to these bit rings. Uh, on a normal bit that, where you didn't have this top section I would have it laid sort of like this so you've got your you've got your rein there and your cheek piece there but as I say this is a slightly different bit and they fit on here so I'm going to lay that out so that's laid out like that and that one that side and again I made a note of the the holes, luckily, as I said before, because Basil is the only horse that wears it, it's easy to see. But again, he has his on the third hole from the top on this side and on the other. So actually, it's really easy for me to remember because his noseband and his two cheek pieces are three holes from the top. And ideally, you do want to have um, them of an equal hole. You wouldn't want four on one side 
from the top on one side and two on one side because that would mean the make the bit and the rest of the bridle sit slightly skew with so you always want them if possible to be equal if not then you just like have three on one side and two on the other anyway that's a slight aside so I've got them laid out and the last thing I've got to do is take the brow band off the headpiece so that's the brow band detached and I'm just laying it there now it's worth just noting because if you've got a plain brow band it's really easy but this one um, has got a logo on now of course it doesn't matter if it goes back on upside down but to get it right I need to make sure it's sitting the right way up that makes it a little bit more tricky later but I've got it all laid out so the brow band and the headpiece and the cheek pieces and the nose band and on the bit and the reins. The thing I found the trickiest when I was learning was actually putting the brow band back on the headpiece. Um, but ha when you've got it all laid out like this, it really does make it so much easier to remember how it all fits together. And the martingale, as I say, I've just kept that separate at the moment and that's taking it apart and laying out ready. So what I will do now is I will clean each part individually. So I'll go, I'll pick up the headpiece, wipe it over, put it down, pick up the brow band, wipe it over, put it down. And then I'll go back and do the same with the saddle soap I'll, and I'll put them back where I found them. Basically by doing it like that, I'm always going to remember where it all came from and where it all needs to go back to so that when I come to put it back together again it's a little bit more obvious than if I had just taken it all apart, put it in a pile um, and then when I've finished cleaning I've got just a pile of leather and I have absolutely no idea where it's got to go, which bits fit back together. It really does help um, and obviously when you're first learning anything that you can do to make it easier is better and when you're learning about it and if you're doing exams or anything then it's a really good way to start off. The headpiece obviously is another key bit to remember because you want the throat lash, this long strap, to be on the right side. You don't want to put the bridle back together and then realise that you've got the throat lash doing up on the wrong side. Uh, so you want to keep that in the right place as well. So as I say I'm doing it so I'm looking at the horse's head directly in front. So I'm just going to clean all that now and then we will put it back together. So that's the bridle all cleaned. The Martin girl's still over there, that's one of the reins there. But again, I've still got the reins by where they're going to attach and the cheek pieces and the head piece and the brow band. So the first thing I'm going to attach together, I'm going to start at the top, is the head piece and the brow band. And this is the trickiest because obviously you need it to sit on like that. So you want because uh, you have to feed it on because the strap goes through you want the right s you have to put this side on first so if you think that you want it to go on like that so you feed this bit on first I'm not sure if I can do it with one hand let's see so you feed that the far side on first, you slide it all the way round. So that's now over there, and then you've got to put this side on, which hopefully is the right way up. Yep. Yeah. And then you're just going to slide that on over this end. Obviously, you'd have to check when you had it on the horse, but but really the brow band should sit just above where the headpiece splits on either side, because you don't want it too high because it will pinch the ears but you'd have to check once you got it on the horse or pony because it would vary. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach the cheek pieces back onto the headpiece. I'm going to do that for both of them at the same, same time before I attach them to the bit. So that's both of the cheek, this is the noseband here. So that's both of the cheek pieces back attached to the headpiece with the brow band on now and now I'm going to attach the bottom of the cheek pieces back to the bit rings. Now something else I haven't mentioned is getting the bit the right way round. Now if you've kept it 
um, in the right place and as you've cleaned it and put it back it shouldn't be too bad. Now obviously this one is slightly different with these rings and the double joint but bits generally are slightly curved for the horse's mouth so on this side on the left side of the bit you can see probably can just see that this plastic bit is slightly curved and unfortunately I can't hold it with one hand but it has that same curve across and most bits will have that curve so you want to make sure when you lie your bit back down that it's curving outwards here so it's going to curve outwards because you're looking at the front of the horse and if you think about it that makes sense for how it's going to sit in the horse's mouth so I'm now going to attach the bits to the cheek piece now another skip thing which I didn't mention earlier which actually takes a bit of practice as well is using these attachments on to um, the bit which often they have in the UK um, are you want that little metal bit has to go through the hole but it also has to go through the two keepers so it can be quite tricky so you want to feed it, th feed it through the bit like that getting it in is much easier than getting it out so I may just show you how to get it out so you, put, you feed it in I find as far as you can get it in the first one then you bend the keeper back and then I because um, it's quite supple this tack because I clean it and oil it regularly you can sort of push it up and then it clicks into place and then I'm not sure you can do it with one hand you have to just just pull pull it here a little bit so that it's back in place and to get it undone as I get say it's much easier if your tack is cleaned um, regularly and oiled because if it's hard it's much more tricky or if it's stuck together with oils and if you saw my um, video I did last year when I cleaned Floss's bridle you'll see what I mean by being stuck together with um, coat grease um, I'll put a link in the box below for you to see that because that was just amazing anyway the best thing to do is you push with one hand at the bottom um, there and you pull with the other hand at the top and obviously I'm holding the camera so it's not going to work I'll just um, do that and I'll show you what it looks like as it's working And then you can get the middle and just pull it over like that. So the nose band then is the last thing I'm going to attach onto the bridle itself. Um, and as I noted when I started it feeds underneath the headpiece so we feed it up on the left hand side of the headpiece through the brow band. And then we feed it back down the other side and I'm sorry the camera is not focusing this is much more tricky with one hand <laughs> so now I just need to feed it right through so that it's in the right place so I have fed the nose band through and done the buckle up on the side there now um, and that's the main part of the bridle then back together again so leaving it laid down there which is what I would do I wouldn't um, wouldn't pick it up at all I would just leave it all laid down so you've got it all put back together from having it laid out you just need to add your reins which you've still got sitting ready and you want to make sure again um, as with the cheek pieces that these bits go on the inside so it looks nice and flush and smart on the outside as with those the inside um, is this section so I'm just going to add, put the reins back on here and on here so there we are we're practically back to how we started now with the reins attached as well the bridle is all fully together we've just got the reins separate and the martingale so I haven't as I say I haven't done the buckles up on the reins yet 
So what I'm going to do now, to make sure I get the martingale on the right way round, is I'm going to turn the bridle over um, so that it's as if I'm sitting on the horse and the horse's head is, is in front of me. So there we go, that's it, that's it turned upside down. It doesn't sit very well obviously because of the brow band and the nose band. But now I have the reins the right way up for if I was riding. So I'm going to get the reins now round and get them so that they're sitting ready to do up. But they're all straight, there's no twists in them and they're ready to just do up just like that. But I need to put the martingale on first. So. When you look at your martingale on your horse, obviously when he's on, you've got the rings at the front underneath his chin-ish on the reins, then you've got the bit round his neck and then you've got the bit that goes between his front legs and under the girth. So I tend to bring that right down here and then you want that over and you just want the ring sticking out the front here and it's gonna they're gonna attach that way round so you've got your reins ready to attach together so you want your martingale to sit up like this so you're gonna get your right rein and you're gonna feed your right rein through the right hand ring and you're gonna get your left hand rein and you're going to feed that through the left hand ring with it keeping it nice and straight and then I've just put them on my knee and I'm going to do the buckle together so I've got the martingale flat here as you can see the reins flat through and then all I need to do is pick up the headpiece um, sorry, the neck strap for the thick martingale and the reins and, and there we go we've got the bridle oh. together and if you wanted to see how you can make it look tidy and smart I'll put a link in the below box below about um, my, for my tap cleaning video which shows you how you can wrap the throat lash round and make it look really clean and tidy. Anyway, I hope you found that useful or a little bit interesting anyway. Um, it's a good way to learn how to put your bridle together. As I remember when I first um, started, it looks quite daunting because there's lots of buckles and lots of little bits of leather on one side there's a long bit which is the throat lash and then um, the nose band and how, how those little buckles go around the bit. I remember finding it quite um, confusing to start with but that was a really good way of learning and it is how I learnt um, to put a bridle together and once you've done it a few times you'll have it in your head um, and you won't forget and then you won't need to do that you'll be able to do it quickly on a bridle hook um, in a tack room and easily show somebody else how to do it as well so it's a really good way of learning so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon guys. Bye.